Today we look at Fight Ipatsu Juden Chan. The manga. There's an anime, but like hell I'm gonna waste my time with that. The manga is approximately 70 chapters, but if you really care about the plot, you won't be seeing an ending in English for a bit as it is one of the many manga with scan later hiatus syndrome. Machine subtitles for the win, I suppose. Fight Ipatsu Juden Chan asks the question, how much camel toe is too much? There's a bit of it, and since it's in black and white, YouTube might confuse it for real vagina, so I'll be censoring it. Though Jinchi porn and serialized manga are sold at the same stores in Japan, which is probably why the line is so blurred. There's even some pussy the author didn't fully censor. People say anime can get raunchy, and it can, but the only distinction between porn and comic in the literature scene is what it gets adapted into. The main thing Fighty Patsu has is fan service, which some people dislike. I understand why you like to separate plot from porn, but I personally enjoy plot more with tacked on teenager bait. People dislike when there's too much plot in a porno, and vice versa. Like, nobody's watching school days for the sex, but they would be if it were marketed as hentai, which is why people presumably like the school days eroge. This is true stupidity to jack off because the sticker label on the cover said it was right to, and everyone falls victim to this. You must suppress your arousal when watching Kisses because you took the assumed response as well as demographic into consideration. Even if it was meant by the author as masturbation material, you understand it has the same age rating as Vagabond, but you wouldn't feel the same with Sister Breeder. Even if the contents are roughly the same as Kisses, you see it as expected. Your actions, I mean. Fighty Patsu is no exception to this rule. You may be tempted, but never will you give in. It's actually written by the same guy who made the aforementioned critically acclaimed Kiss Sis, which is a slice of life. This is a supernatural action manga, but it has less character progression and plot importance. The scenarios do make for good crotch shots, though. You can get tired of shonen cliches, but you'll never get tired of the same nipple convex with the plug suit and pussy outline every time a girl bends down. It gives you what Evangelion never could. It's got a shitty boy character who's got a harem. Evangelion never Never had that. The story follows Plug and her solving of people's depression with artificially induced temporary timed charges. But Plug is a bit of an airhead. A klutz, if you will. And for some reason, she's a rabbit? She came from outer space, from a parallel world. She's a charger girl in a company which likes to recharge humans, but her clumsiness apparently makes her unable to get a paycheck. And nobody on Earth except this one guy can see her and the other aliens. It's less interesting than it sounds. You know? I'm self-conscious of repeating myself or copying people in these videos I make, but maybe I shouldn't be, as these writers seem not to care. This book has nothing to add to the world of manga, and I like it.